Hey, what's going on guys? Joe with OMGRC.com. So today we have the WL Toys 144001. I will put a link in the description below if you wanna get one, along with a promo code good until 1031 of 19. The other two cards that are in this video ran by my friends will be the WL Toys A959B and the Team Associated Reflex 14B. Those will be in the description below. The Team Associated Reflex 14B will be coming from OMGRC. The other two WL Toys vehicles will be coming from Banggood. Those are affiliate links, but it all supports the channel, so I definitely appreciate that. And I'll put a link in the description below for the, my friends that have YouTube channels as well. But at the end of this video, if you want to stick around, I'll tell you about this vehicle, my thoughts on it. Till then, enjoy this video. In three, two, one, go. Oh, I totally took that. Yeah, I'm getting the dizziness. I'm getting dizzy here. Three, two, one, go. Yeah. You ready? Three, two, one, go. Like a speed pistol. <laughs> right? Look at that juice that it's got in it, man. Alright, so ECX torment next to the Punisher. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and count it down. And three, two, one, go. I smoke you. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Yeah, I just normally don't give it full throttle when I when I get on it, but I was figuring what the heck. It's a little bit. Yeah. All right, guys, let me know what you thought about this video, but I'm gonna give you my thoughts on this car along with the other cars to kind of give you the insights on that. Now, you're gonna wanna jump on the promo code for this thing too. Not. For just one is it going to expire here on 1031 of 19 and because this car is selling so crazy it might not be around for much longer and who knows when they're going to have more of men so wl toys you guys did a heck of a good job on building this thing love it and but who knows how many you're going to have left here soon so these things are this thing is is crazy how many of these things have been sold so i definitely appreciate all you guys that have already bought one from us it, it, yeah, there's a lot of them. So you guys have been buying a lot. Ah, so I definitely appreciate that one. 
Now, uh, the team associated Reflex 14B, that one is sold through us, uh, omgrc.com. So we're here in the US, we're in Florida, and uh, Banggood, as far as their affiliate links like this one, be affiliate link if you wanna purchase one. And you know, they're from over in China, what have you, but um, it's a great RC car, man. And we all know RC cars, typically they're all made in China or whatever, anyhow. But uh, it's a heck of a good car, you're gonna love it. And a lot of you guys have already been reviewing them as well or just buying them and you've got to experience it and i'm sure we can all across the board can say this thing is a great car now how it stacks up to the other car which was a smaller car what's a this is a 114 scale and the wl toys a959 b and there's other models that are in that same uh realm that are on that same model number but uh, they came with bushings, at least the one for the buggy. It came with bushings, and just to kind of give you a quick deal on that one, if you're maybe not sure what bushings are, uh, bearings. This thing has bearings in it, and it just makes it everything smoother, so things roll nice. Bushings are just a, a piece of metal. Typically, they're like a brass or a soft metal, and they're just rotting on the shaft of, let's say, where the wheel sits on. And as the thing spins and everything like that, it starts to wear it down, and then, of course, all your wheels get real wobbly. Now with bearings, that doesn't happen. Now you get sand in them and they get a little gritty and stuff like that. You need to oil them every so often too, especially if you run them through water. But all in all, much better. This vehicle will knock out the A959 all day long. It might not be as quick, but it's more agile, more controllable. And if you have one, if you looking, if you purchased one already and you just can't wait to get it, let me tell you, you're gonna love it. So uh, definitely cool. If by chance you're getting one of these for yourself or for a Christmas gift, definitely jump on the deal, like I said. But the only thing that you're gonna really need is four AA batteries. You already got your charger. It'll do the job and you get the battery. I would really recommend if you're gonna keep, you know, anything, any upgrades or anything like that, really what I would do is just get an extra battery. Buy an extra battery, I'll put a link in the description below if you wanna grab another one before you check out. At least that way you already have two batteries and you're good to go. Just kinda of keep in mind too is uh, you know when you're running, if you have two batteries, just let the car cool down in between runs so you, that way you don't overheat or burn stuff out, give it a shorter life. So that would be the only thing I'd really say. Um, as far as how it stacks up with the Team Associated one too, oh man, I mean really, it's in a different league. Why? It's this has a bigger motor. I think it handles very well. It sits up a little bit higher, so it's got more ground clearance that's on it. And we could, you know, you could definitely, uh, you know, do some adjustments probably to it, to uh, you know, get it down a little bit lower. It does have different areas here, just to bring in the shocks a little bit, so it will lower the car down a little bit. But all in all, I mean, the Team Associated one's like 180 bucks, something like that, around there. How much is this one? It's not even 100 bucks. Is it even $90? It's like right around $90. And then if you use that promo code, you're saving yourself even more money. And it's got a bigger, it's got, it's got potential to do more with it. So really at the end of the day, how much you wanna spend, you know, is, is up to you. If you're really loyal to a particular brand, then you know that Team Essential one's not bad, but I kind of think this one could be better. You be the judge. Um, Maybe my friend Brian, he can let me know, but he really liked this car too. He's like, oh man, I'm kind of, you know, that thing is really cool. I might want to get one of those too. I said, like, wow, it really drives nice, man. And it handles well. So if you saw that too, now you guys also, you know, yeah, I've been doing these videos for a while too. I've been driving RC cars. I did race them a long time ago. So I wouldn't even put in that into, you know, oh, you know how to drive RC cars. You know, a little bit, again, wear and tear of those other RC cars compared to this one has only been ran like twice. So, you know, their tires have been worn down. Those bushings are worn down. Their, their skills as well, you know, and I'm not perfect at driving. I hit the cones and whatever else like that. I got dizzy spinning around on the camera and whatever, trying to get better shots for you guys too. But all in all, this thing, I think it just handles really well. So. There you go. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Hope you um, maybe you can learn a little bit of something. I know some people were asking me if you can put a brushless system in here. And really, you can put a brushless system in it. But as far as I'm not 100% sure what you need when it comes to, okay, just kind of going over this thing real quick too. 
two and one electronic speed controller. So that means it's got an electronic speed controller. This is controlling the motor, but also has a receiver. What is the receiver? The receiver, see, has got this little antenna here. This thing talks to this radio. Now, if you go with a brushless system, it eliminates this whole two-in-one system. So what does that mean? Well, now you don't have that little system talking to this radio. That means unless you can get this thing to communicate with your new receiver, you've eliminated this. You would have gotten rid of this motor as well. And also, you might be able to pick up an adapter because this, this is the little servo wire. And if you don't know what the servo is, that's what's, uh, oh, you know, steering. So anyway, it has different cables. So that's maybe like a micro cable or whatever, as far as you guys can leave a, leave a comment in the description below. It's like, yeah, yeah, you can buy a little adapter. Cool. If you can do that, then you don't have to replace the servo or anything like that. But you would need, to, this would have to be unplugged, plug it into your new receiver. Again, if you need, if you have to get that adapter. So again, I'm not 100% sure. I'm sure they make adapters for it. So um, yeah, you do that. And now you have, you're gonna have a little bit less space in here too, because now you're gonna have a bigger electronic speed controller. You're gonna have a little bit more, you know, as far as when it comes to your receiver, but you could probably put the receiver down here and yeah, all that kind of stuff. But just kind of let you guys know. Um, and I know some people were asking me like, oh, is the motor enclosed? So, you know, no dirt gets in there. And you can see that it does have a, a cover over it. it. Does have this little nice piece of aluminum here where the motor uh, sits on. And as far as flipping it over to the bottom here, there's really no adjustments on that part of it. So there's no sliding piece or anything like that. Like on the WL Toys, it had that. Or if you upgraded to aluminum chassis, you'd have this little piece to slide back and forth to make adjustments as far as the gearing mesh where, the, where there's a spur gear that's in here and then you have your pinning gear and whatever. So yes, a lot to it as far as, you know, getting a little bit more on the technical side of it. But at the end of the day, if you just leave it as it is, you're gonna enjoy it. Yeah, and there's gonna be those speed guys and kind of one of those guys, you know, make it a little bit faster. But I really don't know if I wanna make it, I will probably put a different brushed motor in there, make it a little bit quicker, because you know, if you make it too fast, it's gonna be uncontrollable. It's not gonna, in my case, it might not be as fun. And it's not gonna be competitive with my other friends because they're gonna be like, that thing's just so much faster, it's not fun. <laughs> so, uh, but, and at the end of the day, it's your car, you do what you wanna do. And at the end of the day, I'll catch you in the next video. But until next time, this is Joe with OMG RC. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this with your friends, and check us out at omgrc.com. Sign up for our newsletter so that we can get on those deals, especially when we're coming up to Black Friday and all that good stuff. You wanna stick around for that one. But until next time, you guys take care. Thank you again for all your support. We'll catch you on the next one later.